Welcome back to the show, everybody. Today, I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Uh, I'll scroll through um, my group on Facebook, WSED, Wild Snakes Education and Discussion. And we'll just take a look at the, the first few posts, see what they are, and then I'll try to give you some interesting little tidbits of snake information. So let's jump right in. Jim posted his California Dreaming Snake of the Day, a juvenile western yellow-bellied racer. Um, now people who are still learning about snakes um, often don't know that in the United States, racers, when they're born, they start off as patterned snakes like this, um, this yellow-bellied racer. Kind of the light tan background with the reddish brown markings. Um, all juvenile racers are born with this kind of pattern. Um, the colors vary as you move across the United States. And as these snakes grow bigger, they change over into their adult coloration, um, which again varies from subspecies to subspecies. So juvenile racers have a pattern very similar to juvenile rat snakes. And then as they grow, they change. This is the California dreaming snake of the day from yesterday. And this is a liar snake. Um, liar snakes are rear fanged and they do have venom. Um, but they feed mostly on lizards. I think amphibians. Um, and they're opportunistic. They'll take rodents here and there. The venom of these snakes is considered harmless to humans. Jeremy posted an eastern copperhead. And, uh, of course, the eastern copperhead is a venomous pit viper. And their colors blend in perfectly on the forest floor among the fallen leaves and dry vegetation. And the copperhead, of course, is a sit-and-wait ambush predator. And they'll just sit, especially near, like, a rodent scent trail. They'll sit and wait for those rodents to come by, sometimes for days. And here's another California dreaming snake of the day. The Mojave rattlesnake is a extremely venomous species. Produces a large quantity of venom, at least the adults do. And the venom composition varies from location to location. And some of these snakes have a very potent neurotoxic component to their venom. So a large Mojave rattlesnake with this mix of different venom types producing a large yield of venom makes them one of the most dangerous snakes in the United States. But if you keep a respectable distance and never ever attempt to handle one of these snakes, you'll be just fine. Here's an interesting snake, the mosaic sea snake that I posted a few days back. And these venomous lapids prey almost exclusively on fish eggs. And there's only a few species that do this. And because their diet is so specialized, they actually, their fangs are very small and their venom glands are also small. They do still possess venom. Here's a neat snake, the Philippines coral snake. These venomous lapids are native to Asia um, particularly Southeast Asia, um, the Calliophus genus, these Asian coral snakes. And like coral snakes in the Americas, they have this peculiar behavior of curling that tail over. Um, and a lot of these species have very bright colors uh, underneath the tail. And they raise that tail up and curl it up. It's kind of like a distraction from the head. The vulnerable head. So when faced with a predator, they'll hide the head. You can see his head down here. And then raise that tail up, exposing those colors. And kind of giving the uh, snake a chance to either escape or just to simply avoid a lethal blow to the head. So there are some snake facts. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you next time.